Well, Lucanus asked for some space, so Mira did a couple laps around the lighthouse courtyard, and now she's gonna check on him again. You asked for time. Is this long enough? Yes, my head's clearer, though I would kill for a decent cup of coffee. Have you? For coffee, I mean. Not today. Oh. You've got questions. You might as well ask them. I know Katerina volunteered you to work with us. Are you okay with that? When the first talent of the crows gives you a job, you do it. Especially if she's your grandmother. But there's plenty of reason for me to work with you beyond that, Rook. Such as? I owe you a debt, for one. And after a year in that hole, maybe I'm looking forward to stabbing a god or two in the back. You're the best mage killer in the Antivan Crows. So how'd the Venatori catch you? Someone set me up. I had a contract for Colivan, in the ossuary. I took a ship from Treviso to Minrathus. They were waiting for me. Knew which ship and when it would arrive. I don't know how they convinced the Crows I was dead, but I woke up in the ossuary with Zara gloating about it. The crossroads can be dicey, but the lighthouse is safe. Oh, and if you see a spirit around called the caretaker, they're friendly. After the ossuary, that will be a pleasant change. You haven't asked about Spite. From what I've seen, I'd say he picked the right name. He's stronger when I sleep, so I try not to do it much. No one was in the ossuary by choice, not even the demons. We both did what we had to, to get out of there. So, if you're an abomination... I suppose I should get used to that. But, I heard that only mages can get possessed by demons. I'm skilled with a blade, but I promise you, without spite, I have the magical talent of a brick. There must be some difference between a demon deceiving their way into a body and being forced into one. Only Zara knows for sure. You know, I thought Moravis might end up being into Lucanus since he does seem like he has a good heart, but I'm not seeing the attraction. Maybe it's because he's gone through so much and is a little vulnerable she wouldn't want to take advantage, but I think she just wants to be his friend. When you have nothing but bad choices, better to take the one that saves you. And now comes the rest of my life. Our life. Leave Spite to me. If he's trapped in this world, he has good reason to fight for it. For now, I must honor our contract. Gods, magic, politics. Hmm, things are going to get very bloody. Dawn exercises breakfast, mid-morning, weapon maintenance, inventory. Oh, he planned out his whole day. Evening supper preparations, correspondence with crows, study. Every hour seems accounted for, but it is difficult to know for certain. There was no day or night in the ossuary. Now, at this lighthouse, the sky offers little hint to the true time in the world. Look at his little pouty pose over here. <laughs> Just want to bring him, like, hot chocolate or something. Well, I guess he likes coffee, so... Mocha? I don't know. He deserves... He deserves a treat. Oh, Blara needs to talk. If she does, I'm guessing there are other people. Harding and whatever that is. Oh, shit! No! Okay. Try again. Deep breaths. There!
Sorry. Just breaking things. Balara curses a surprising amount. <laughs> Want help? I could, I don't know, kick it or something? Oh, yes. Just be careful. Some things don't do well. If you break them, I mean. What kind of don't do well are we talking about? Oh, you know, reality tears, wild magical energy. Also, for some reason, bees? I don't know why. And I don't know why this won't work. Thought I'd figured it out. But it keeps breaking, and I can't get my thoughts to line up. You fixed the alluvian, though. The alluvian was easy. Once I replaced the resonance crystals, adjusted the lyrium lens, it worked fine. I mean, I had to realign the matrices, but it just worked. Not like this thing. Okay, seriously, I'm starting to think that the heart doesn't even mean romance. It's just like affection and kindness. Mira would definitely say that. You don't give yourself enough credit. You're smart. You'll figure it out. Well, thank you for thinking that. Of course. Also, what is it exactly? It's the Nodis Durthalen, the Eighth Archive. We... I heard it was gone forever, but here it is. So what does it do? It knows things, whatever its creator knew, at least. So much knowledge, all the wonders of Elvenon. Or at least bits of them, which is more than we have. Once I figure it out, at least, whoever made it was powerful, but clumsy. It's resonating off tempo. Need to match it. First, introduce a microfracture. But before that, you'll need the Fate Harmonics, so... Sorry, I, I ramble sometimes. I'm a rambler. Ruined a lot of relationships. Most of the people I've been with didn't care for it. And I'm doing it. Again. Quit that. Your rambling is cute. Yeah, this one might actually be flirtatious. <laughs> I could listen to you ramble all day. Oh, well, same to you. Not that you ramble. You should talk more. I mean, you talk plenty. Just the right amount. Ideal talking. Okay. Anyway, the Nodis Durthalen. I'll get back to it. Soon. But I think I need a break. Maybe take a nap and I can finish later. Hey, if napping works, then nap away. Okay, I will. Anyways, let me know if you need me. I'll be ready. They'd found someone who could fix their mirror. One of Arlathan's own veil jumpers. Just what they were looking for. And Bellara had found something else. An artifact that held a wealth of lost knowledge. But a prize like that was going to attract more attention than they'd bargained for. Beric with another epic voiceover. Bellara's notes. I can't believe we're in the Dreadwolf's old home? Base? I don't know the specific word exactly. We're calling it the Lighthouse. There's a lot of history here. It looks like part of a temple. Did he pull it all into the Fade? That would take an incredible amount of magic. There are a lot of personal touches, too. I was expecting more gold. A throne, maybe? But Harding tells me that was never the Dreadwolf style. Harding also calls him Solus. Everyone does. But I don't know if I can learn to call him that. Fenharel, maybe. I can get there. Hmm. Excuse me? Packing list. Very important. Do not forget. Six changes of clothes, two, three, four attunement rods, collected cereals from Tevinter. Uh, spices, water skin, lots of soap, lots of journals, a stuffed holla. No, Irlin has offered to help pack. Unsure as to why, possibly she still feels bad about breakup. Oh. Okay, so Bellara was with Irlin. So she likes women. Good to know. Workshop. Manifestation. I was wondering how the crafting would work. And I know we need different armor. Mira has been wearing the same thing for like four or five days and it's probably pretty ripe by now, so... And I know we can go to the wardrobe and change the look, which maybe we should do, but... Probably just do... 
one thing for each person. She'll be generous, maybe do more for the companions. But I'm assuming this is going to take a while, so we'll wrap up here and then head over to Harding. I'm heading out to practice my new magic. I could use some moral support. I really have to get better at using my new abilities. Don't want to drop a rock on someone's head. Well, helping her with their magic sounds like fun. Maybe we should go do that. You know, Maravis is good at magic. She can provide some good guidance. Plus, time with Harding. Win-win. Rook, the Antam occupying Treviso think they can outlast the crows. We believe it is time to prove them wrong. Come see us when you can, Taya. We'll be taking a trip to Treviso eventually, but first, parting. The dock's been fixed. The caretaker must be regaining control of the crossroads. This place is amazing. June's normal alluvians function with twin delirium fragments. One always leads to another. Solus somehow talked the crossroads into making fade alluvians that override them. His own network to run our rebellion. Provided you ignore all the old stories about holding mirrors up to mirrors and getting caught in the infinite reflections. Elisan, hey, the slow arrow. The deeper currents. That scent. I can't place it. That's my ma's apple cake, but how? Could be magic from the ancient elves. Interesting. Watch ahead. The on Tom? Here? Just one second. Just hold on while we look for loot. The Crossroads Guardians and now the Antom. Stay alert. We are definitely getting better at the combat. Thank goodness. You've met Strife in Ireland before, right? Varric and I did. We passed through Arlathan Forest while we were searching for Solus. Strife and Irulan helped us navigate the Fade. Oh, I heard about that. Spatial anomalies and time loops. I wish I could have seen it. Varric hated it so much, being outdoors and all. <laughs> and when the outdoors is upside down and lost in time and you're harassed by spirits wearing your face, <laughs> well... Oh, that would be a nightmare for anyone, I think. Spirits wearing your face. Hmm. They're hitting us from afar! 
Should be perfect. It's wide open, lots of rocks, and away from people. I don't want to try anything where I could hit someone. Oh, this sounds exciting. I know. Come on. Harding's encouraged that you think of her magic as a gift. Being able to move the terrain is going to be really useful for a scout. Getting up high for good vantage. Let's try it out for practice. <sighs> All right. See this rock? I'm gonna move it. <laughs> the little foot tap. Oh, awkward. Mira will encourage her, give her some tips. Maybe if you used words? What? Tell the rock what to do? Sort of. <laughs> it's not a dog. Yeah, but just try it. Fly! <laughs> oh, you are the worst. The worst! You don't mean that. So, a mental cue. Some kind of emotional trigger. The thought of having to protect someone would probably work for her, but she doesn't have to put herself through that. Just relax and have fun. You're thinking too hard about it. Maybe think less and feel more. Have fun. Go with what feels good. Feels good. Right. Connection. Joy. Fun. You know, we would sometimes go to the shore of Lake Callanhad in summer. And my friends and I would collect stones and see who could build the best rock fort. I bet my fort would be the best now. Hey. Oh. <laughs> it worked. It worked. That was a great idea, Rook. <laughs> I haven't seen you look this happy in a while, Harding. <laughs> I know. Life, right? <laughs> Let's not talk about it. I just want to enjoy the moment. Being around you makes me feel lighter, somehow. Oh, So sweet. Your hair is so pretty. <laughs> we should do this more often. <laughs> Just you and me? People might talk. About what? That we like doing stuff together? Ooh, scandalous. Right. Right. Of course. Why would they talk? Or did you mean something else? No. No. Of course not. I mean... Are you blushing? No. I mean... Yeah. You try moving rocks with your mind. I... I mean... I should go practice more. Shouldn't I? I should. Smitten. Absolutely smitten with this girl. I wonder what's up there. Think you could find us a route? Maybe. I'll take a look. You got it. Leave it to me. I bet you could move this to give us something to climb on. Heard ya. Well done. Let's find another rock for you to practice on. Bliss in oneness. Our voice a chorus. 
What? I don't know. I was just saying something, wasn't I? Huh. Just came to me. Think you could clear a path for us? Where? Oh, down. Got it. Look at that. You're getting good. <laughs> uh, Want to try another one? Why not? Right. There you go. Practice is really helping, huh? I might even be ready for a bigger challenge now. Just gotta check out what's over here first. Wait, we can use the dagger? So when we don't have a companion in the party, we can still use their abilities. Good to know! From a scroll found in the ruins, translated by Bellara, I've begun my tests in earnest of the substance Atrahel brought back. To properly test its efficacy, I thought it prudent to see what effect it might have on another. Given his position, I of course chose Atrahel. He is unwitting, of course, as has always been the case with him. Impressively, despite its anti-magic properties, it seems to have filled Atrahel with renewed vim and vigor. How curious. I will continue to monitor him to record whether the change is permanent. But regardless, it is quite promising to see such profound results at such an early stage in the same hand as the other set of notes Bellara. what this wait these notes were written by Bellara? it's a little confusing what is she up to Over here! So many rocks. And they feel different. That one's granite. That one's slate. I think that one might be quartz. I wonder if the rock's composition affects my magic. Sorry. Just thinking out loud. Let's get back to it. Practicing, I mean. Let's find a couple more. Of course. Oh, oh one. Oops. Got it. It's no trouble for you now. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. This is great. Get this done. All right. Jumping. <laughs> Not our strong suit. So graceful. Leave it to me. The one she's focusing on. This one. You got it. Good work. You got the hang of this stone thing. I'm definitely getting there. What was that? Someone's in trouble.
Over here, Harding. We need to move quick. Please, someone! Is anyone out there? Someone's in trouble. We need to go. Can move. Hold on. <laughs> Up over there. I bet that's where he is. How about if you moved this rock? <laughs> there he is. Let's hurry. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Easy. Maker, I thought I was dead for sure. Harding wouldn't let that happen. The rocks. How did you do that? I... Uh-oh. Harding? Do you hear that? Hear what? Sister, I feel you, touched by the ancients as I was. Find me. Look to those closest to the stone and find me. Harding? What's wrong? What are you hearing? I'm... I'm sorry. Let's just get our friend to safety, and then we'll talk. Ugh. probably wants to head back to the lighthouse now so they can talk and so she can check in on her. You've been quiet? I know, just thinking. But I said we'd talk, didn't I? I... I heard a voice after we saved that man. It told me I was touched by the ancients and that I should seek it out. Seek her out. Maybe you lighten the tension with the joke? Aha! Uh -huh. Now you know what it's like to have a voice in your head. You know, I don't care for it. What if she's like me? Maybe that's why only I heard her. She said to look to those closest to the stone to locate her. Meaning? The children of the stone. Dwarves. Not surfacers like me, but the ones from the deep roads. Almost ten years ago, a Shaper from Orzammar bonded with a Titan. Titans? Ancients? You think it's related? It would make sense, wouldn't it? Volta. That was the Shaper's name. Maybe there are more like her down there. You gonna drag me down to the deep roads? I will absolutely drag you with me wherever I look for answers. I'll check with my contacts in Orzammar. The minute they give me a lead, We'll go. It's a date? <laughs> a date? I mean, a prearranged time and place for a specific activity. Unless you wanted it to be a date date. <laughs> I, um, shouldn't get ahead of myself. Who knows if my contacts will have anything to say. Right, right. Hmm. Let me know. <laughs> Too cute. Writing a letter to Orzammar, I guess. Or maybe Mom. Say hi to your mom for me. 